The Motoring Tip of the Week is brought to you by Walmart. For everyday low prices on Pennzoil, conventional, and synthetic oils. Our Motoring Tip of the Week concerns batteries. When you're replacing the battery in your vehicle, there's a number of choices to be made. And choice is a great thing, but you need to understand why and what you're picking. Now, when you go to the batteries, you may have a number of different selections. First of all, we're going to look at the BCI group size. That's what describes the physical fitment of the battery, the battery that physically fits this vehicle. Now, this, this Ford Edge takes a BCI group 59 battery. That describes the terminal layout and dimensions. It needs 540 cold cranking amps. And when we pick the battery, it's got to have at least 540 cold cranking amps or higher. Now, when we go to the battery shelf to make the battery selection, a number of choices again. You may have a good, better, best scenario, and how much you pay depends on how much performance you get. We've got the basic battery, one year free replacement warranty. This one's a top post and a side post, what we call a dual terminal, so it'll fit multiple cars. Move up to this battery, we get three years free replacement warranty, higher cold cranking amps, and more minutes of reserve capacity. And the ultimate top of the line battery, the absorbed glass mat battery, which is the most durable battery and the highest performance as well. Now when you opt up to a better battery, you typically get three things. More warranty, as I just mentioned, higher cold cranking amps, which gets you started on the cold morning, and more reserve capacity. And reserve capacity is a rating of a 25 amp load and how many minutes the battery can sustain that. And how that relates to you is if your alternator should fail and you have to limp the car home with no charging system, it's the number of minutes you can drive before the battery fails or won't start the car. It's also relating to you leaving the door open or the headlights on, parking lights, listening to the radio on accessory. How long can you do that and still have the car start reliably? So when you have those choices, opting up to a slightly more expensive premium battery is money well spent. That's your motoring tip of the week. People need to drive these cars and, and see what they can do and compare them against the perceived younger cars because this is not your grandpa's Cadillac. I've primarily driven German cars in the past, but I need the practicality of the wagon and fit and finish. Uh, just They've done a great job on the car and then value for it, um, you know, compared to some of the German automakers, it's exceptionally good. You would never have thought that you would come out here with a, a wagon, but I, I'm having a great day. Mm -hmm.